How do we do that? Today we are going to learn about adjectives. Now let's take a look at this sentence. I love to eat red juicy apples. They are sweet, crisp and healthy. Now take a look at these words. Red, juicy, sweet, crisp, healthy. Now do you know what are these words? We call them adjectives. Now what are adjectives? Adjectives are describing words. They tell us something more about nouns and pronouns. In other words, they describe people, places and things. <coughs> they show the quality, color, shape, size and number of things they describe. Adjectives and nouns work together to give a clear picture of people, places and things. Now, I love to eat red juicy apples. They are sweet, crisp and healthy. This was the sentence we took earlier. Now, all the words red, juicy, sweet and crisp, they are describing apple. The taste of the apple, the color of the apple. So, they all are called describing words or adjectives. Now these, look at these pictures, fast, slow, ugly, cute, sad, happy, small and big. These are all describing words. Straight, the road is straight or curved. Person is tall or short. A basket is full or empty. A person is thin or fat. Again, these are describing people or things. So these words are describing words. Now adjectives describe noun. Uh, a noun can be described on the basis of color like blue sky, red apple, green leaves or the size a big ball or a tall tree. Sound whether it is loud or it is a quiet, uh, a quiet child. Shape whether the egg is oval or the ball is round, the numbers, one, two, few, many, these all are describing words. Taste, whether it is bitter, sweet, weather, whether it is sunny, cloudy, the texture, smooth, rough, they all describe things. So, it is an adjective. Now, let's take a small quiz. Identify the adjectives in the given sentence. I met a beautiful woman. Now, what is the noun? First, identify the noun. Uh, noun is woman. So, the word which is describing woman is beautiful. So, the adjective is beautiful. Let's take a look at the other sentence. He is wearing a red shirt. So, the noun here is shirt. And the color of shirt is red. So, red is the adjective. She is a rich woman. Rich. He wants to be a successful lawyer. Successful. Now let's take a look at the degrees of comparison. We use adjectives to show level or degree of comparison. Adjectives change their form to show comparisons. Let's take a look at this picture. Now Ajay is tall but Vijay is taller than Ajay. And Rajesh, he is the tallest among the three. So this is how we compare. Now there are three degrees of comparison. Positive, comparative and superlative. Positive degree of an adjective is the simplest form. It is used when we speak about only one person or thing. A bull is a big animal. Comparative. The comparative degree is used to compare two persons or things. For example, an elephant is bigger than a bull. Superlative. The superlative degree is used to compare more than two person or things. The blue whale is the biggest animal in the world. Now, how do we form the comparative and superlative? The first way is by adding ER or EST to the positive degree. Thick. We will add ER, it will become thicker and then thickest by adding EST. Similarly, kind will become kinder and kindest. Sweet will become sweeter and sweetest. Now, if the positive, if the word 
ends in e. Then r and st are used to form comparative and superlative. For example, brave. The words end with e. So the comparative would be braver and superlative would be bravest. Large, larger, largest. In the words ending with y, we remove y and add i-e-r or i-e-s-t. For example, wealthy. It ends with y. So to form comparative, we will remove y and add i-e-r. So wealthy becomes wealthier and the superlative would be wealthiest. Similarly for heavy, heavier and heaviest. Now if before the last consonant there is a vowel, the last consonant is doubled before adding er and est. For example, hot, hotter, hottest, slip, slimmer, slimmest. Now many adjectives take most, more and most to change degrees. For example, beautiful. It becomes more beautiful and most beautiful. Similarly, intelligent becomes more intelligent and most intelligent. Some adjectives totally change their form. For example, good, better, best, bad, worse and worst. Now here is a list of the comparison. For example, clean, cleaner, cleanest. Noisy, noisier, noisiest, wet, wetter and wettest. Now let's take a small quiz. Radha is 165 cm tall. Ram is 175 cm tall. So Ram is dash than Radha. Now we are comparing two people here. So when we are comparing two people, we use the ER form. So it will become Taller. Next, my father is 46 years old, my mother is 45 years old, so my mother is dash than my father. Again, we are comparing two people, so it is younger. A horse runs dash than the fellow, faster. Mr. Sharma is the dash driver in the town, so here good will change its form to the superlative and become best. There, this is the dash shirt in the store. Most expensive. I hope you enjoy learning adjectives. Thank you.